You tweeted earlier that this club where this happened is a place of refuge for so many, including myself. Tell yeah. me what this club meant to you. Yeah, you know, like so many uh, queer bars across the country, there are only a few places that LGBTQ people like myself can go just for a place of refuge and solace and, and community and connection, you know? So Club Q was a place where my family's down in Colorado Springs, where, you know, around this time, the holidays, I would go visit my family and in the evening go out and, and, and make community and, and meet community. Uh, and to see this tragedy happen so close to home and hurt so many people um, it breaks my heart. Do you feel like people in this community are being targeted? Have you experienced yeah. that yourself? Uh, absolutely, they're being targeted. We are being targeted. I'm being targeted right now on Twitter um, with threats and hate. Um, all because of my support of transgender youth and families, you know? All because of uh, myself being outspoken in who I am as a proud LGBTQ African American person. We are absolutely targeted. These acts of violence are not, um, un uh, you know, we know where they come from, and it's because of all the hate that's spewed. We know it only takes one person to make that attack. It only takes one person to carry out that harm, you know? And so we all, all of us, regardless of background, affiliation, status, need to step up and say, it's wrong, it's wrong. Because the people last night that went out to Club Q, they went there to love, to laugh, to dance, to be with their friends, you know? And we should not be targeted just for living our lives. We should not be targeted just for loving who we love or presenting how we present. That is wrong. And we all, as a Colorado community, need to stand up and step together and say no more of this hate, no more of this divisiveness, no more using people as political pawns, you know, in a game that is only harmful, only harmful to the most vulnerable among us. Yes. What do you think think the next step is as a lawmaker yeah. when you see tragedies like this happen. When you have that hotbed, right, you have a situation where we have open access to firearms, open, open access to firearms, alongside of the divisive rhetoric, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? And when you have the dehumanization of people, right, where folks think it's okay if I target an LGBTQ person, one less person in the community, one less person in our neighborhoods, one less transgender young person, that is wrong. That is wrong. But what do we expect to happen? Colorado should be leading the way on change and we're not.